So we have in Ontario the largest class sizes in, the pro in, in Canada. So for myself, went to University of Toronto, my largest class size was I think 2011 people. How do you connect with a professor in that type of a class? How do you learn? You, you don't, you just don't. They can't have labs really for, for some of the huge classes because there's not enough props. They don't have enough money to hire profs or TAs. And so what they do is they have something called impracticals. I think it's supposed to be funny. It's really not. Impracticals where students do a lab with a little remote control in front of a screen in a 2,000 person classroom, right? That's how people are learning to do labs. And if they screw up, it stops, and you're like, oh, that's the end of, your, that's the end of my lab. So that's an example. We have the, the lowest funding in all of Canada, in Ontario. In fact, in any public jurisdiction all over North America, second only to Alabama, they're doing worse than us. So we're not at the bottom yet. Uh, yes. Alabama wins for that, which is good. We have the, the highest tuition fees mm. in, in all of Canada. Instead of paying for the post-secondary education system through our progressive tax system, what we've done is we've increased tuition fees and told the individual to pay for it themselves. But how can they do this? All they have to, do, all they have to, to turn to is debt. And with that model, uh, people who are poorer end up paying more for their education through debt. Currently, I sit at, because my parents didn't make a lot of money, I sit at, um, my, my debt at the beginning was just over, was about $33,000. Right now, I'm at $29,401. And my interest goes up by $4.18 a day, okay? It's, it's unbelievable that we would make poor people pay more for their education uh, than wealthy people if they're able to have the sack of money right off their back. The entire student loan system, the, the, what they pay for the bureaucracy of it, could actually pay for the loan system itself almost in full. They could just be giving out grants instead of loans yeah. so students wouldn't have to be paying back this, this incredible interest, mortgaging their lives before, uh, before their, their, their lives even start. <laughs>